My name is Dr. James Watua. I am a zoo and wildlife veterinarian at Uganda Wildlife Conservation Education Center. In the chemical capture of the zebra, there are a few uh, things we have to take note of before we have uh, effective operations. That in the zebra, we have a very thin skin which is prone to penetration or darting the wounds. And as such, we use long range projectors for darting uh, these zebras. For adult stallions, the drug of choice that we use is etofin at a dose rate of 4 to 6 milligrams per kilograms. This is usually mixed with the azaperon at a dose of 40 to 80 milligrams. And also sometimes the, uh, we add xylazine at a dose of uh, 40 to 60 milligrams. The antidote that we use for etofin in this case is diprenorphine at a dose of 2 to 4 times the dose of what? Uh, etofin. The zebra may be darted from a vehicle, and in this case, the animal should be selected before approaching the herd, and one should keep it in sight or in view, as it may likely be confusing when it joins the rest of the herd. Approaching within the darting distance of wild zebras is difficult, if not impossible, and usually we dart into the area which has enough muscle to accommodate or hold the dart. So we do that in, in the neck, muscle area, or the rump, or rather the hind limb. And after that, in, the animal, one should not drive after the animal. They usually run and make a small stops, but usually they keep close to the heart. Following immobilization, there are some signs of induction that we observe. For example, slowing down, loss of tone in the tail, holding the head high, and then progressing to high stepping gait, and later becoming more incoordinated. The animal at this stage will run away from the herd or will be left behind. It may stumble and fall, but often it stops shortly before hind quarters collapse, and soon it falls to one side. The herd stops a few meters to observe what's happening and the stallion may stay with the immobilized animal and it has to be driven away or some females may kick or bite it before it falls uh, down. Zebras are easy to handle if well immobilized but can be extremely dangerous if underdosed or if insufficient time has elapsed for effect to take place. When approaching an immobilized zebra, one should move in quietly and grab the ears from behind. If the animal attempts to stand, the head is pulled to the side and the neck down to keep the animal recumbent. The zebra is susceptible to capture myopathy and heat stress and should be kept cool by pouring cold water on its sides and covering the eyes to avoid direct sunlight to keep also the animal calm. When the animal is fully immobilized and down, the dart site is therefore identified and the dart is removed. The skin is prone to penetrating dart or dart injuries and as such should be treated with an antibiotic after removing the dart. A fully immobilized animal or zebra can therefore then be rolled onto a stretcher and safely loaded into a transport crate to a place of destination. Yes, the recent rescue of zebra from Zimbabwe was another page of experience in regard to animal rescue. We successfully captured it because we had done all the necessary uh, arrangements and preparations. And uh, so after we had captured it, we put it in the crate. But after we had put it in the crate and loading it on the car, well, the doctor had to give it a ration. Given the fact that the other one was a plain zebra, and the zebras that we have here, they're butcher zebra. So I think there are variations in terms of size and weight. I think we need to enhance and foster our, our, our capacity in terms of animal capturing and creating of the animals.